My husband prioritizes his family over me, his wife. What can I do about it? My name is Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. And I have seen this problem arise. And I will tell you that it is extremely rare that it is anything other than what I'm going to share with you right now. There are some cultures where it is usual for a husband to not leave his family for his wife, but bring his wife into his family. In some cultures, the wife literally moves in. I'm assuming that that's not the case for you. But even in those situations, even when there is a little bit of rivalry between the husband's mother and the wife, it always boils down to the same thing. Now, I'm also going to tell you at this point that you should subscribe to this channel and learn a lot about marriage because that's really what's going on here. We don't learn about marriage. We don't learn about how to please our husbands. Husbands don't learn how to please their wives. And so there's a very high divorce rate in the Western world, and there would be a really high one in the Eastern world if it were less frowned upon. But this particular issue is one that you can do something about. You see, when a husband gets married, he has a subconscious expectation, which is not unrealistic, I might add, that his wife will give him something that he only can get from a woman, which is unconditional love. Men are biologically not set up to experience unconditional love easily. If they want to, it takes a lot of work on their part because they're overriding biological dictates to shut that part of themselves off. So it was a golden opportunity for you when his mother, and by extension his father, handed the baton over to you, his wife, to show your husband that your heart can be open not only for him, but for the whole family. Unfortunately, the training for women due to this mythological women's liberation movement, and I say mythological because true liberation is not gender-based. True liberation means that we become realized that we are souls, and you are a soul. So your soul, think of it as your heart, needs to open up to your husband and shown to him in every conceivable way and never undermine because men are very ego-based, they're very sensitive. So if you say something that's going to hurt his feelings, you might as well hit him with a two by four. So in short, number one, Learn more about marriage so you understand it, so you just don't do what I tell you to do, but you have an understanding of what to do for good practical reasons. So what are good practical goals in marriage? There's only two. Number one, you want to be happier every day of your life. You want your husband to be happier every day of his life, even more so. You get married to share your love to that degree. Number two, you want to experience unconditional love. Not just occasionally, but you want to be swimming in it the whole time you're married. Both of these are achievable in every single marriage when you understand how. Right now, your husband has not discovered that you are giving him unconditional love. He's not feeling it, and he can't articulate it. He doesn't know it. I know it, and now you know it. Don't talk to him about it. 
It's meaningless. Instead, learn to express it. If watching these videos isn't enough, get one of my books. But you can certainly turn things around. He's prioritizing his family because you're not prioritizing him. Want to hear it in a nutshell? That's what it is. Stop complaining, criticizing, putting him down. All of these things just pull away from the foundation of your marriage, which is supposed to be love, isn't it? Doesn't that make sense? And instead, make every action of yours, every thought, every verbalization, and every physical action filled with love and watch what happens. Do it as an experiment. See what happens. It's not going to shift overnight, but if you do this and you get good at this, it will shift. That's an absolute certainty. Okay, I hope this was helpful for you. Leave a comment if you'd like. We could discuss it in the comments section. But try this. Blessings to you. Blessings to your husband and your family and his family too. Your heart is enough to open up to all, not just your husband, your children, but to his family also. So do so. There's no limit to love. All right. God bless and take care. Thank you.